Hey, what's happening guys? I'm DJ Avionics and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified of future content like this. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the difference between the following lenses on a gimbal at different arm lengths. This video is intended for people who are in the market for a gimbal and who has either of these lenses or looking to get one of these lenses and is deciding on the right vlogging setup that fits their needs. So the camera that I own and use for my YouTube videos and such is the Canon EOS M50 which is an M mount style mirrorless camera and the three different lenses that I use are the kit 15 to 45 millimeter lens the EFM mount 11 to 22 millimeter wide angle lens and the M mount Sigma 16 millimeter f 1.4 lens the gimbal that I use is the Zion or Zion or Zion Weeble S gimbal, but the specific make and model of the gimbal doesn't really factor in unless you're factoring in weight. So besides this Xeon Weeble S gimbal, I've used a few other gimbals such as the Feutech G6 Plus gimbal and I've also used and tried out the Feutech G6 Max gimbal. The Weeble S weighs just over 2 pounds and both the G6 Plus and the G6 Max weigh just less than 1.5 pounds. So before I start showing you guys the test footage, I just want to let you guys know that I am 5 foot 8 inches tall with the average arm span of someone of my height. Just something to think about when I throw out the term arm's length. And one more thing to keep in mind, I am leaving my camera on auto when recording all this footage. That way we can have a constant variable for image quality. And of course, Canon's dual pixel autofocus is on face tracking. Also, please comment down below to let me know what you guys think of how everything looks with each variation of lens and arm's length. The, uh, this is the kit lens that comes with the Canon EOS M50, the 15 to 45 millimeter. Uh, focal length set to 15 and I am holding it out at full arm's length distance away. And it's kind of windy. Hopefully, uh, I didn't use the dead cat. I used the foam covering. Hopefully, it doesn't sound too bad for you guys. This is the lightest lens among the three. It's the smallest lens, but the lightest, um, even though it does go out to 45 millimeter. Okay, so now I'm holding the, the camera at casual length distance away from, from myself. The most comfortable way of holding it. Tell me guys what you think of how everything looks. Okay, so this is the 11 to 22 millimeter lens. This is a wide angle. I believe this is going to provide the best vlogging view um, among these three lenses. It's not throwing off the lines too weird and a fisheye look. It's a, it's, I think it's the perfect wide angle look. And this is me holding the camera and gimbal at full arm's length away from myself. Alright, so now this is me holding the camera and gimbal at uh, medium arm length or casual, where it's more most comfortable holding the camera and everything. So yeah, let me know how, what you guys think of how everything looks. This is the Sigma lens, 16 millimeter. It is the f1.4, and this is at full arm's length away. And this is how it looks. Let me know down below how, how everything looks to you guys. Just walking down my neighborly streets, making sure everything's good. Because now I gotta. Just in case I gotta pull some superhero action, vigilante action. Alright, so now I'm casually holding out the gimbal with the Sigma 16mm. Not at full arm's length, just casually. As you can see, it's a little close in, but not too bad. You can still kind of see the background. It's a little bit more comfortable holding it at this position too, rather than full arm's length away. But yeah, so this is casual right here. Casual. 
All right, so now we're getting a little extra bonus footage for y'all. This is the 11 to 22 millimeter lens with the 4K setting on, 24 frames per second. That's the only uh, 4K setting they have on this camera. But um, it's not supposed to have good autofocus while in this uh, frame rate and resolution. So we'll take a look at the tape when we get back to the studio. But here, and it's because it's cropping in, in this 4k resolution so um, i think it's best to use the 11 to 22 millimeter with this setup and i am holding the camera and gimbal at full arm's length right now looks pretty good on the screen i don't know if it's focusing in on my face though all right so now we're gonna hold hold it out at a casual distance away from myself see if it's picking up Autofocus, it kind of looks like it is, but I could be wrong. So, yeah, this is casual distance away from myself. The comfortable position of holding this rig of mine. Once again, this is the Weeble S by Zion Gimbal. All right, so there you guys have it the different focal lengths of these three different lenses on a gimbal at the different arms lengths when the gimbal is in selfie mode. I hope this video clarifies on how each lens looks so you can get what you need to accomplish your vlogging videos. As always, please smash that like button so YouTube can help recommend my video to others. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified of future videos like this. All right guys, I'm DJ Avionics. See you guys next time.